Okay, Darren here, quick video, how to do door jams. If you look in here, we've got dirt, okay? That's not good. Detailing is just that, it's all about the details. So for most people, they never look at their door jams. Uh, for a professional detailer, you gotta get everything. So how do you get the door jams? It's pretty straightforward, and, and it's very similar to engines. And what I mean by that is that there's so much detail. All these little fasteners, these nuts, the um, hinges. Uh, you've got this rubber boot that contains the wiring harness that goes through for all the electrical for the door panel. Uh, another hinge, of course. And then you've got down here, okay, dirt. Especially on a white car, it's going to show, or a light-colored car. So all it requires is really a couple products. One... This, once again, super degreaser, uh, yet another, uh, yet another uh, um, use for this product and for this application, just like engines, I dilute it four to one. So all you do is spray. And what I mean, I, I don't think I got enough information, but for example, the reason you need to use water sometimes, like on engines, is there's just so many details and materials and surfaces and angles and nooks and crannies that it's really unrealistic to think that you're going to get in here with a toothbrush and a rag and just clean it separately without saturating it. You're going to have to saturate it. You're going to have to use some liquid and a liquid cleaner is one thing, but how do you get rid of the cleaner once you're done cleaning it and the dirt? Well, then that's where water comes in, so it's got to get all wet. So how do you get a door jam that's really exposed to the interior of a car? How do you get it wet? Well, this is where technique comes in. Uh, I used to use a pressure washer and I would just hold the tip closely. And because these parts are very durable, you don't have to worry about too much pressure getting in there. It's not gonna ruin anything. So I just hold it close enough where it's not going to saturate the inside of the car. Now you'll get a little overspray on the inside and that's why I keep a rag available, like this blue rag, um, to just wipe it up very quickly before it actually soaks into the carpeting or anything. So I shoot some degreaser in there. Get a little toothbrush. And honestly, once again, this video is gonna be anticlimactic. These door jams are not that dirty, um, but as the years go on and you're detailing a car that's let's say five years to ten years old you'll get some some, some substan some substantial dirt buildup in there so you just agitate it if you have a pressure washer you wouldn't even have to do this um, because the pressure along with the degreaser is going to break it up so well next i've got my normal trigger spray nozzle and that's why I like a trigger spray nozzle is I can adjust the, sp the pressure in the moment so I don't need a whole lot of pressure here because a the door jams not that dirty and B I've agitated it with a toothbrush and so all I'm doing now is just rinsing the door jam off so all the dirt and degreaser comes off with it so Right there, you're basically 90% done. Now you just wipe up the excess water, um, kind of check your results, and you've got to look past the obvious. You have to look up in here. Is there dirt you need to get to? Back down in here, in here, in here. Um, I'm trying to get the camera in here, but back in here. So this is all clean. All that's left now is water spots, and that's where I take a leaf blower, and I will blow this off. I'm not gonna show you that because it's noisy, and most people know what a leaf blower is. And the reason I do that is because my final step will require this to be completely dry. So hang tight a moment. Okay, I have blown the door jam off. It's completely dry. And because this is white, it does not show any of the residual watermarks. If this was a black or a dark colored car, 
it would not be acceptable left in this manner. It's only because it's white that you can't see, and I can see it right here, probably is not gonna show up on the video, but I can see some watermarks. Also, remember details. So if you turn right around, you see that you have another door jam right there. Yes, we need to do that also, which I did in the time of the break. And I also clean this edge. So this is considered the door jam to most, but then you've got this lip, and then you've got this lip. And then down here becomes the outside of the car. Now you'll notice here that we have some, let me see if I can block it. There we go. Um, the shadow or the, sh uh, the sun. We've got some skid marks. Um, and this is where, once again, a simple shot of the degreaser and my magic eraser and presto it is now okay let go magic eraser presto you see there's some residual water on this panel here I just clean I just wipe this up real quick now I start with door jams. Well, let me back up a little bit. When I detail car, I start with the interior first and I move to the exterior. Now I consider the door jams as part of the interior because I know I'm gonna get some overspray of water, a little drip here and there, and I don't wanna get that on my cleaning, freshly detailed interior. So it's all about strategizing and doing it in the right steps so you don't have to repeat yourself. So I don't want to repeat myself because time is money and the quicker I can get from point A to point B, the more money I make per hour. Um, so that's how you stay competitive or that's how you make more money per hour. Okay, next step. Like I said, this is a light colored car so this would be acceptable. But that rubber boot in there, this is where I use my stoner and your version that you can get on my website will look different. I buy this by the case. I buy this by, it uh, comes to 12 a case. So it's packaged a little differently than the retail version that you will get. So I simply shoot this into the door jam because what's that gonna do is it's gonna make all the black parts uh, shiny and actually look better than new. The gasket, the door gasket, the door seal, whatever you wanna call it. If this was a dark colored car, it would also conceal any residual watermarks. Now I do wipe, because I blow it off and wipe it off the best I can, there's very limited watermarks, but it's not gonna be true perfection. This will now bring it to a level 10, true perfection. And once again, I'm gonna do the same over here. And I'm gonna coat just briefly the whole uh, door jam as far as this area of the door jam. I will not be dressing this. That would be pointless and kind of silly. Uh, actually, there's still some marks here I need to get. Oh, those are coming up pretty quick. Anyhow, so it's pretty straightforward as far as door jams go. Um, spray your degreaser. Hose off, agitate, or I'm sorry, spray the degreaser, agitate if you need to, hose it off, blow it off, wipe it down, dress it with the spray dressing. If you don't have access to the spray dressing, I highly recommend it for many uses. You can shoot some water down or diluted down tire dressing. Um, it will show up white at first, but it will dissipate and become clear. So don't worry about that part. It's just a little thicker than I prefer for door jams. Okay, hope